Hello, hello everybody, it's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be hosting the ARC-5 Representative Tournament. We're getting pretty deep into the tournaments, everybody. ARC-5 is the last of the series, not to mention that we're still going to do Page 3 Redemption and Dream Team. But, um, you know, last of the main five, because there's only going to be five main series, and then the other three are stuff I made up that I think are fun. And I know they're fun, because people really enjoyed it the first time around, so... We're going to be doing it again this time around. We have a bracket. ARC-5 is the smallest tournament since this game came out very early in the ARC-5 show. So there's only 16 official ARC-5 characters. And their decks are as close to accurate as possible. But sometimes they're just kind of muggled with a bunch of bullcrap. That's not helpful. But who cares? That's not our, you know, it's not our job to have to worry about that stuff. That's the people who made the game's job. And I can tell you right now, that's not, yeah. They, they are the ones that have to deal with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get on my phone, and I'm going to send out my links the way I do. You guys know that. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, we're going to go ahead and get s not started. we still got a few minutes. Uh, these big tur- well, even though this is not a big tournament, but these tournament streams, I like to get a 15-minute, uh, you know, 15-minute timer just to decompress, get everyone ready, get everyone calm and happy. And then when we get started, oh boy, I just go at it. We got the voice, we got the, we got everything. It's gonna be a good time. Let me make sure. Okay, people can hear me. That's good, good. I'm starting to get better at that, guys. Starting to make sure I have the right audio tracks and all that fun stuff. Probably because I'm streaming more than I used to now that I actually have good internet, which, you know, thank you guys. Uh, it's really all thanks to you guys at home. You saved me from this. So I'm going to post this on my Twitter, I'm going to post this on my Discord, and that's all I really care to post it on, so I'll leave it there. And we're going to be having our ARC-5 tournament right here, right now. Well, not really. But soon enough, anyway. So let me go ahead and check out my characters. ARC-5, ARC-5, here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I remember their decks now. Good to know, good to know. There's only 16 characters, so I should be able to memorize which decks they're using, but, you know, when we get to those tournaments where there's, like, over 100 characters, that's when my brain's like, oh, hell no. What were you thinking, Cooper? You think you're going to remember all these characters you're, you're supposed to remember? It's impossible. It might not be impossible, but it's very difficult. Hello, Inuyasha guy. Welcome to today's stream. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah. I just hope that the ARC-5 characters actually give us a good fight. I'm expecting Shingo or Shuzo to make it today, or that one guy, Noboru, he's pretty good. Um, other Arc 5 characters that put up a fight, sometimes Reiji puts up a fight, I think he's pretty good. Uh, if I had to think of anyone else, let's go look at them right now, I'm curious. Hey, what's up, Merc's, uh, Merc's TV? welcome. Uh-huh, there we go. We're going to go over here and we're going to see who's the best of the best. So, Arc 5 characters, we got Yuya, who does not normally perform well, so I don't really have high hopes for him. Yuzu, who does not normally perform well, so I don't really have high hopes for her. Sora, who does not normally perform well, so I don't know about that. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Akiri Ryuri Hime. Thank you so much, Hime, I appreciate that. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy today. Wait, what, attorney on Friday? Yeah, I announced that uh, multiple times on uh, my other streams, that I'd be streaming this tournament on Friday and a page three tournament on Saturday. So there's still going to be tournaments and tournaments and tournaments. Don't worry. There's still a Saturday tournament tomorrow. Um, Noboru, who has actually placed before, so he actually has a good chance of making it, uh, be, you know, be a representative. Uh, Shingo, who's won the last team tournament. The last big representative, all the guys came together tournament, Shingo won. Hello there, Slayer. Welcome to today's stream. Um, so I expect Shingo to make it no matter what. It would take pretty someone pretty strong to take him down, like Shuzo. <coughs> Shuzo's another strong character that I expect to see make it. Um, no guarantees, but I expect to see him make it. He, this guy beat the crap out of me. Both of these guys did, actually. I can't fight either of them. But, so let's see who else. Reiji, honestly, he can maybe make it. Reiji's pretty good. I think Reiji's deck's pretty good. Welcome, Kamita's 1997. 1997. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we got Hakuto, who I don't remember if he was that good. Um, you guys might remember more about Hakuto than I do. We got Masumi, who actually qualified for the last representative tournament with her Gem Knight deck. Um, 
I thought her deck was pretty cool, so I don't mind if she makes it again. Uh, but we'll see. We got Yaiba, who also qualified for the last representative tournament with his XX Saber uh, Synchro deck. That's actually pretty cool. Um, then we got Michio, who I remember this character only because he has the funniest deck in the world. He has the food deck. He goes to the Cuisine, cuisine Duel School, and I shit you not, his boss monster is Hungry, Bur uh, Hungry Burger. Oh, welcome there, Corpse King. Welcome to today's stream. On top of that, we got Ada, who... Ada, Ada. I think he had one of the most boring stall decks, if I can remember correctly. But that's fine. Every every tournament has one, at least. We got Mieru. Who the hell is Mieru? Does she, was she the Necroz lady? Was she Necroz? I can't remember. Hey, Kamita's 1997. Thank you so much for following me. I really appreciate that. That's super kind of you. As I said, we've been doing these tournaments every week. Um, we're going to do two today. Thank you for hosting, Inuyasha Guy. But we're going to be doing two today. And um, it's going to be a fun time. On top of that, we got Gen. This guy I actually do like. He uses the Battle Guards. Hey, Ichigo Knight. Welcome. Yeah, the Battle Guards. Uh, Swamp Lava and King Battle Guard. And then we got Yudo. A, a fan favorite, apparently. But his decks in this game specifically are terrible. Although I think his boss monster, if he's able, able, ever able to summon it, is uh, something called like Dark Rebellion or something. I, I honestly don't remember. It's very hard to remember. And then, and then Shun is the last character from uh, that's going to be in the series. So this is your last character. I don't remember what his deck is. We're not going to do both tournaments today. We're going to be doing this tournament today. It's going to be very short. And then Saturday tomorrow, at uh, same time as today, uh, we're going to be doing the Page Three tournament. Page three meaning all characters that are not main characters from the show. They're literally just made up for Tag Force, okay? I'm talking characters like Kenyu, Wisteria, Tasha, uh, Lara. You probably don't recognize any of these names. Um, who else? That one that one lady that uses freaking um that that uses freaking Shadals. I think her name was Nana. She's probably here. Let me go look let's go find her. This is for tomorrow, but let's go find her. Yeah, her. The dead eyed girl, Nene. She's one to watch out for. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be all them. So I think it's time I'll show you guys the brackets. Everyone, let's get excited. Let's see if uh, your favorite character is gonna end up in a good spot. So looking at the bracket, we have Ada versus Yuzu. Yuzu is a main character. Ada is the stall character. Ew, I don't like that he's first. That's not going to be very fun. But what are you going to do? There's going to be a stall character no matter what. Oh, did I forget to start the tournament? Oh yeah, let me go ahead and start the tournament. Let me do that real quick. Start tournament. We don't actually start it right now. We're going to start it at 2 o'clock my time, which is in 8 minutes. Uh, but we got Ada here. And they're going to be fighting Yuzu. Then we got Yaiba fighting Masumi. We got Shingo. So this is where Shingo is fighting Shun. We got Shuzo. Oh, crap. They're there, too. Fighting Noboru. Ooh, that's going to be a good fight. These two would put up a good fight against each other. We got Sora fighting Yudo. That's that's probably a good fight, too, honestly. If you like those Fluffle decks or whatever. Yeah, that's the one Kami does. That's the one I was talking about. Uh, Dark Rebellion Dragon. That's the one. Uh, Yuya going to the top is very low, in my opinion. Y Yuya is very low. Hello, Sir Cookie. Uh, we got Miro versus Michio. We got Hakuto versus Gen, and then we got Yuya versus Reiji. So Yuya is at the very end, and Yuya is going to be fighting Reiji, which is a very hard opponent. He's that DDD monster guy, so we'll see how he does. And then Gen and Hakuto, I don't know much about. I, oh wait, this is the Battle Guard guy. I know him. He's kind of cool. I like Battle Guards. Um, other than that, yeah, this is this is your fights. If I had to make a prediction, just looking at this. I would say, since this guy's just stall, Yuzo will move on. And then I would say Yaiba versus Masumi. This is Synchros versus Fusions. I'm always a Fusion guy, so I'm going to say Fusions will move on. So Fusions and Yuzo will move on. And then between Yuzo and Masumi, Masumi might take down Yuzu. I don't know. Well, I, well let's just say for now, I'm going to say the person to qualify from this four, or these four will be... Masumi. She's qualified before, so is Gaiba, but I think she can do it. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think she could do it. I think Masumi's the one that's gonna do it. 
Um, then we got Shingo versus Shu, and we are Shingo was the winner of the last team tournament. All of the all the characters that made it, all the representatives, he was the one that won the whole thing. So I'm gonna say Shingo's gonna make it out of this no matter what. He's gonna be the one that makes it out. Even though Shuzo and Noboru are in the same bracket, that's crazy. Oh, that's wild that they are, uh. It's going to be hard, but Shingo's the, the Shingo's going to be the one that gets out. So, Masumi, Shingo are my representative predictions. Then we have Sora, Yudo, Mieru, and Michio. Oh, that's tough. I might go with Sora. I like his Fluffles. I like his Fusion deck. I, I honestly might go with Sora, guys. I'm going to go with Sora on this one. Does he have a high chance of doing it? No, because he relies very heavily on his Fusions, and he's not even very good at getting his Fusions. But if he could do it, this is the oh, this is the time. I would I would say Sora has a chance. But if Yudo gets Dark Rebellion Dragon out, it's over. We don't. There's no if hands or buts about it. Yudo's gonna wreck everybody if Sora doesn't get his fusion before he gets his Dark Rebellion Dragon. Um, then in the last four, we got Hakuto, Gen, Yuya, and Reiji. Honestly, Reiji is my top pick in this one. I, I, if, I honestly think Rage, <coughs> Ragey is the one who's going to get out of this one, guys. There's really good odds that it's going to be Ragey. So, my top four picks to getting out. It's going to be Ragey, Sora, Shingo, and Masumi. Yeah, Ragey, Sora, Shingo, and Masumi. That's who I believe. Everyone in chat, <coughs> I want to know who you believe will get out of here. I want to hear it right now. I'm not even joking. I'm not I'm not going to be patient for you guys. Tell me right now. Okay, we got a statue saying Noboru is going to get out of here. Yeah, this is way early in the show before they got crazy cards. Some of them still have some pretty crazy combos, but... Yeah, this is still very early into the show. But since it is... Okay, we got Shun. Hello there, Alexis Streams. Welcome to today's stream. Very happy to have you here. Ugh, and don't forget, and don't worry, I remember who you are, Alexis Streams. A simple change of name does not uh, make me forget. Reiji, okay, what is Shingo's deck again? Shingo uses Yosenju cards. Yosenju. Beast Warrior cards that uh, have the, yeah, like, comma. Yosenju comma cards. I agree with, uh, I agree with you, Hime. I'm pretty sure that Yuya is going to destroy, I mean, get destroyed by Reiji. All right, Lexi, just like uh, Atticus, huh? I want my boy Yudo to win. Honestly, Ichigo Knight, he actually does have a chance, but it all his deck is really bad in this game. But it all depends on if he can get his um, Dark Rebellion Dragon out. Quillhort Girl, that's uh, tomorrow, Sundown Kid. Quillhort Girl is not in this tournament. She's in the tournament tomorrow. She's a page three character. Reiji has a chance of breaking, that's true. He's done it before. But Reiji has at least gotten top four before. Not during a representative tournament, but he has gotten top four. Welcome, Kaido Flame Wolf. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm glad you really enjoy Elder uh, Elder Ring. That's cool. I'm not really an Elden Ring guy. Uh, I'm not. Very, I, I'm a guy that stays away from games that are, are considered difficult. Hey, what's up, Racing John? Welcome to today's stream. I'm going to go ahead in the background and start setting up the first fight, which I believe is Ada versus Yuzu, which uh, should be a good fight all, all around. Let me just uh, get this ready. There we go. Thank you so much, Kato Flame Wolf. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. All right, let's see. I hope you like today's stream. Hey, Pytoon, welcome. I hope you also like today's stream, Pytoon. Alright, which one is Ada? Ada is just some dumb guy. I honestly don't- I don't like the kid. Ada's this dumb stall deck, guys. I'm sorry. It's what's gonna happen. I think you're right about that, Hime. Alright, let's see. I'm actually a kind of a fantasy fan. I just don't really like, um, hard games. And Elden Ring is one of those hard games. These are your two opponents for the first round, everybody. I'm going to get the predictions started. I'm going to be working alone today, so it might take me a little longer to do predictions. Oh, I would also like to thank Kaido Flame Wolf for following me. I really appreciate that. That's super kind of you. Um, let me go ahead and get the predictions a-going. Alright. Predictions. 
Let's see, Yuzu. Wow, the last one was number three versus Katori. Ada. Oh, he didn't know how to spell her name. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about our Arturo. Yuzu versus Ada. There you guys go. Everyone, place your bets. Place your bets. I want to see bets. Obviously, unless you don't have any channel points, they're all free anyway. Oh yeah. Thank you, Alexis Streams. I appreciate that. Uh, to get to uh, the gist of it, oh, I understand that head of the harem. I like to, I like to scroll through certain series. I used to love watching the Super Best Friends, but um, there are some episodes I'd like to skip through of uh, certain series, or I was like, oh no, I just wanna, I just wanna see what's going on, you know. But let's hope that uh, you guys enjoy this one. You say Reggie will beat himself, Yudo? That could happen. That honestly could happen. You know, Yudo, your 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 screen name is literally Yudo. I would think that you would uh, you would be voting for Yudo in this tournament, since there's a character called Yudo in this tournament. But whatever, it's time to start the first fight of the tournament. Let's get it going. Ada versus Yuzu. I'm gonna assume we're gonna see some stalls. So get ready. Now Yuzu is a main character, so she does get a voice actor, and that's kind of nice. Nice job, Mexican Wolf. See, that's a safe bet. But the stall deck guy is still annoying, so let's see if we can actually beat him. Yeah, okay, so Yudo is voting for Yudo win. That makes me feel good. He's going to use Catapult Zone. Alright. I believe that's a stall card for his rock monsters. Let's see what Yuzu can do about it. Well, an MST will help her, but she targeted Zero Gravity. Not bad. You guys know how much I like Zero Gravity. I use it in my uh, decks. Ooh, barrier. Oh, Book of Moon. You ain't doing nothing. Yes, this is very early Arc 5, so Yuzu really doesn't get her support cards. And the statue does destroy that, and she can't special summon. Oh, that's so good. Ada managed to do that and stop her from special summoning. That's pretty freaking good, because this says only Earth Monsters. Oh, but she still has Nova Summoner, so that's pretty helpful. I don't think, uh, a Slayer, I don't know who Selena even is, so I'm gonna assume no. I mean, it makes sense that Yugi has more support than Yuzu, because Yugi, uh, is from the oldest series, and has the oldest cards. So obviously they would exist. Alright. There we go. It is having some trouble there. I mean, Yuzu's having some trouble there. Golem Sentry's definitely going to make this impossible for her. Then no, Arkita, Selena's not here. If that's uh, if that's an alternate form. All right, we're going to do another 400 damage, but we already know what's about to happen. Unless Yuzu gets a trap card, we're just going to see her dr uh, just die. Luna Light player? Oh, then I have no idea. <laughs> All I can say is I don't have anyone on my list named Selena in today's tournament. I don't know if that means they're not in the game or if that means they're uh, if they're um, going to be a page three or have already been in a different tournament. Oh, we got an MST that could help with the field spell. Nope, she went for zero gravity. I think I would have went for the field spell if I was her, but you know, to each their own. Yes, this is the Rep Tournament Anime Ace. And this Golem Sentry strat is completely destroying... Uh, oh, wait! We got the Rock Spirit. That's actually a pretty handy monster. Looks like Ada's stall deck is going to work against Yuzu. One day, Kamitas. One day. Maybe we will have Tag Force 8. This is Yuzu's last draw. If she does not manage to pull something off, then we're going to be sad. Alright, this Destiny draw better be a good one. She's going to need like a Mirror Force or something. Although I don't think page 3... I mean, I don't think Arc 5 characters really care about that. Well, she took Golem Sentry! Whoa! That was actually super good for her. She He can't beat it. 
Yeah, that was a horrible play by Ada. Why would you not give her barrier statue? Oh, because my AI says it has the least, it has more attack than- You have Dark Hole? You didn't even need to steal Creature Swap then. Alright, screw it. Nova Summoner with Transmodify. Say hello to LG the Meliodas Diva with 2300 attack. But we're not done yet. Say hello to Sonata, the Meliodas Diva. Ooh, Ada is taking a huge hit. Yuzu is coming back. That's a lot of power in one turn. Wait, release from the stone. we removed from play. Monster gets to come back. In defense mode, no less. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier, but that's fine. Uh, but honestly, the field spell completely screws her, and she's already used MST. Because what is she going to do? Like, literally, what is she going to do to him? Still really good that she did all this. Because she needs to pop the monsters. And she can't pop the monsters, because they could just keep uh, surviving due to Catapult Zone. She actually has to do this until he runs out of monsters. Oh, well, since it was face down, I guess it died. Or it's only once per turn. I actually Once per turn, yeah, it's only once per turn. Yeah, literally, she has to do this until he runs out of monsters, or she has to just get lucky. And get a card that can destroy monsters. Alright, Yuzu, you're hanging in there, and I can really appreciate... Oh, look, it's Rock War Grotto number one! I haven't seen that card in forever. Not since freaking Joey Wheeler. Alright, we're just gonna keep this going. Yeah, if he had saved the Dummy Golem, he could have stolen her boss, but... He's like, oh, but Dummy Golem has such low stats. Heavy Storm! Oh, no! Ada, you're in a lot of trouble now! Oh god, Ada is in so much trouble. I thought the quiz boy had her, but it's not over yet. We know the only card in his hand is Catapult Zone, so he has to draw a monster card. He has to draw a monster. Because she has not drawn a monster this entire time. Did he draw a monster card? He got a monster. Okay, so he's still fine. He is still fine because she has not summoned another monster yet. And Barrier Statue is going to die. But it's only going to happen once. If she never draw, if she never summons another monster, she uh, he can win. No, I, I I I specifically left him out, Laser. I even mentioned at the beginning of the tournament I left out people that I thought were very stally. Of the Zexal tournament, that is. Oh, Bash! On, I mean, Cards on the Sky is pretty good. Oh, but you sent a card. Why didn't you attack? Oh, you can't go about phase. Yeah, but now you're making it harder on yourself. Yeah, his deck is definitely running out of monsters. Golem Sentry! No! Yuzu, Tribute Summon. Okay, we got a, we got a Meliodas Steven. There we go. We got a Miraculous Descent. Oh, what the hell? Sophina, the Maestra. Oh, what do we got now? Shining Angel back to the hand? Is she going to go in this turn? Is this the turn she tries to end the duel? Nope, it's not. It is not. He should be running out of cards, but literally all she has to do is summon more monsters that can actually have attack points. Okay, whatever. Ada, if you could summon another monster, that'll help you a little bit. Alright, there you go. Golem Sentry go back to face down, yeah. That was... You know what? I can understand because you want to put that back in the hand. But that's still a little bit risky because you, now you're in attack mode. Especially if his AI is dumb enough to use Catapult Zone on the first attack. Oh, double tribute! The Maestro's coming back out. And her effect, she gets back the Meliodas Diva. This won't be a deck out. Look at his life points, guys. He's going to go down. The field spell only works on one attack. And this is 2,000 damage. If he uses Catapult Zone, he killed himself. He 100% killed himself. Yuzu with the comeback! She was literally about to you to lose, but then Ada got, got his uh, just desserts. That's it. Yuzu will be moving on in the tournament. 
super close duel. Super freaking close. Everyone was counting her out too. Nobody, nobody was like, "Oh no, she's 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 gonna win." No, they were all like, "Oh, she lost. Get duels over. GG." And then she pulled it off at the end. All right, let's go ahead and go over to our bracket. First duel, Yuzu will be moving on. And since this is such a short tournament, if she wins one more duel, she's a representative. The next duel is between two former representatives, Yaiba and Masumi. Yaiba is the Synchro XX Saber guy, and R Masumi is the Fusion Gem Knight girl. So let's see here. I'm going to get the prediction started right now, everybody. Getting good at typing with one hand. Alright, place your bets. Are you a synchro guy or are you a or ga, synchro guy or gal or are you a what do they call it? A fusion guy or gal. I'm fusion. I say Masumi's got this. Plus I like the Steven Universe show and her gem knights remind me of that. Alright, there we go. Now where is these characters? There they are. All the money on Yaiba. Yaiba got fourth place representative in the la in the first representative tournament, and Yasumi actually got third. So that means she has beaten him before. But that's not to say that it won't happen the same way this time. Alright. I'm a fan of Yellow Diamond. Yeah, she's awesome. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. You gotta love repression, everybody. Fusions versus Synchros. But the real question is, who will get their monster out first? Will they get the Fusion monsters out first, or will they get the the XX Saber Synchro monsters out first? And he starts the duel with absolutely no monsters! Anybody that voted for Yaiba, I am already feeling pity for you. Where she had started with Gem Knight Armadillo, which gives her Gem Knight Garnet. The hell is Armadillo? Uh, uh, no, it's not Gem Knight. This is just Gem Armadillo. Okay. My favorite crystal gem is Lapis Lazuli, of course. I love a crazy lady that will kill you. Three set cards and not a single one of them stopped him. And she's got Rock Bombardment. Now to this, to, uh, she's still, oh, she got her fusion already. Triple fusion. I think we're going to see Master Diamond. No, it would not be Ichigo Knight. No, it would not be. <laughs> she had her own deal. She had her own problems, but uh, I would definitely say that Blapis Lazuli was the, abu the true abusive one. All right. And there we go. It looks like the duel's already over. Yaiba has this card, this card, and this card. And it looks like none of these matter unless you have an X Saber. He threw the duel as far as I'm concerned. Turn four victory. Super, super fast duel. Masumi will be moving on. One more win and Masumi will make it. There goes your 4K. Yep. Should have bet on the girl who got third place, not the guy who got fourth in the last time. I said Masumi would be the one to make it out of this, so we'll see if that actually happens. Alright, let me go to my predictions real quick, give out the money to everybody. Oh, this one was really... This one's 52 to 48%. You guys were really hard... It was a really hard decision for you guys. Alright, going to pred predictions for the next fight now. The next fight is Shingo versus Shun. I believe Shun does have, uh, what do they call that? He does have Raid Raptors, but they're very early Raid Raptors. They don't have much support. At least we got to see the Fusion Monster. We didn't get to see any monsters from the other guy. But that sometimes happens. You get bricks. Alright, place your bets. Shingo, the, one who, the guy who won the entire team tournament. Or Shun, the guy who uh, has never placed, I don't think. Shigo wins, let's move on. Pytoon, you never know.
You never know. We've had some crazy upsets this representative tournament around. Or this time around in the representative tournaments. Like, literally some of the craziest upsets. Alexis and Katari, or Katori is, are literally champions. We Anything can happen. My favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! series? Probably GX. That's my favorite to watch. But I do like watching Duel's Kingdom and Battle City every, every now and then, just for fun. So I can't say, I can't pretend like I don't watch those. Alright guys, it's time for the next duel. I hope you are all ready. Shingo versus Shun. Anytime we see Shingo, I, I my heart just starts beating because this is the guy who beat me. What's my favorite GX season? That's a tough one. Because I actually really did like season one, and I really like season four, and I really like season three, and I really like season two. They're all really good. In their own ways. There is a reason why he's the champion, right, Alexis Streams? That's right. Alright. Shun's gonna start the duel with absolutely no monsters, but three Why does this look familiar? Why does this look really familiar? Heavy Storm! No! Oh, talk about losing everything! And just like that, we got Yosenju Misak. Yeah, this is this is why he's the champion, everybody. This is what makes a champion. Not a single monster. Three new face downs, but not a single monster. Shun drew six spells and trap cards. Shun literally drew six spells and traps, and none of them he can activate. Oh wow, this is looking real bad. Six spells and traps. His destiny draw better be a monster. Oh, I don't think they nerfed his deck. I think the, the strong parts of his deck just didn't exist yet. Alright, he put a trap back in his hand. And he still can't even beat the defense mode monster. It's a pendulum monster. Oh my gosh. This is getting kind of sad. And comma number two is here. And we're going to get a double tribute. Is he going to summon his boss monster, the Pendulum Monster? It looks like it. The boss monster is here. The level's 10. Mayo Senju Daibak. Goodbye, Swallows Nefs. Goodbye, Safe Zone. Safe Zone is activated. Is that... Oh, he used it on him. Oh, what a good play from freaking Shun. He managed to take him out. But now that safe zone's gone, he can't save his only monster card. If Shun does not draw a monster, it's over. Okay, he drew a monster, but he didn't put it in attack mode, so safe zone's not going to work on it. Raid Raptor Vanishing Ladius. I don't know, or Lanius. I don't know anything about Raid Raptor, so there we go. More set. Okay, now he's drawing monster cards, but nothing's gonna take down Mr. 2300 attack here. What the hell is that spell card? Oh, that card's really good. Yep, gets him what he wants. Common number two's effect. Hey, look who it is. We got a Yosenju card. And a direct attack, but it doesn't matter, it does half. That'll slowly work, but not right now. And Battlestorm is dead. Alright, what can you really do, Shun? I don't know anything about your extra deck. What can you do? With only top deck... He is literally top decking his, uh, himself just to stay alive. Uh, Shadow vs. Champions. Some people have talked about it, but I, I'm not really looking to get into another card game right now. I've gotten a lot of projects already. With the attack increase, it's still not enough because it gets cut in half. I've already fought Raid Raptors and Master Duels and have gotten my ass kicked many times by Raid Raptors and Master Duels. And that's the end of the duels. Shingo will be moving on to no one's surprise.
literally to no one's surprise. Damn, Shingo is very happy. At least Shingo's a main character that always does good. It's like a Yugi. It's nice to have somebody like Yugi that always does good. Alright, the next fight will between, be between, uh, I believe this is Yuzu's dad, Shuzo, and Noboru, another main character with a voice actor. Let me go ahead and set that up right now. So, Fire Kings versus Super Heavy Samurais. Z button's not working, sorry. The man who does not use a single spell or trap card in his deck. Which I still find pretty crazy to this day. Yeah, exactly. It's like, dude, I get that you trust your cards and all, but like, what happens if your opponent just gets like a hand trap or something? Or not a hand trap, but like a trap card that stops all your hand effects and stuff like that. How do you win? How do you win? Alright. There we go. And then I'm looking at Noboru. Where is he? Give me a second. Noboru. There we go. Alright, we're ready for the next duel, everybody. Let's get it going. Shuzo is the guy who qualified last time. Noboru has done very good, but we'll see. Yeah, Shuzo is my nightmare opponent. He clown he counters my clown deck super hard. 1,000 on Fire Kings. That's a safe bet. That is a super safe bet. <laughs> Alright, Monster Seto. Gong Strong, yes. And the beginning of the Fire King. He already got his boss monster out. There it is. Hi, Avatar Garunix. And why not? Let's summon Coach Captain Bear Man. Goodbye, Super Heavy Samurai. Oh, well, hold up. We got a special summon. I don't think that's going to help you, but whatever. All right, that's dead. And trap card kick fire, a super annoying trap card. It's one of the things that I've lost. Oh, he's got two. <laughs> that's one of the things I lost to. And look who's back, everyone. And look, he got one, two counter. That's 2,000 damage showing already. Yeah, you're damn right you're going to set a monster because what the hell else are you supposed to do? All right, a 500 defense monster. Is that really going to save you? I didn't think so. And this guy has no spells and traps, so he's just waiting for a monster that can actually do something. Like Super Heavy Samurai Scales. And his effect activates, letting him bring out Super Heavy Samurai Flutist. And is it a tuner? No, but he could tribute it. To summon Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler. And then he's going to set another monster, because why the hell not? Alright, with all these Super Heavy Samurais in defense mode, he at least made a wall for himself. Whereas uh, Shuzo, Yuzu's dad, is going to have to summon more monsters, but he didn't. Goodbye, Super Heavy Samurai Scales. Oh, wait, he's going to tribute summon after the turn is ended? Oh, is it because that Fire King guy, when he leaves this, yeah, during the standby phase? Oh, but that wasn't destroyed, he was tributed. Why'd you do that? Why would you ever do that? What, is that one attack directly? No, why is he doing this? He just took 1700 damage. Oh, he's at zero attack now, and that was for nothing. Good job, unless it's permanently at zero. Okay, maybe it's permanently zero. That might be good. And Fire King uh, Avatar Yaksha is here. Goodbye, face down monster. Turn! 
This is not looking good for Noboru either way. It's like, oh, but he weakened the boss monster. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If he destroys the boss monster by battle, it's over. Oh, who cares? He destroyed his own boss monster. That's game. Golden Dragon, thank you so much. Eight months of being a subscriber. That's freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. So happy. I'm so happy, Golden Dragon. Thank you so much. And the Fire King loop shall begin. That is correct. So now all these super heavy samurais mean absolutely nothing. Standby phase is on the way. Oh, he did 2,000 burn damage. I didn't know he could do that during his opponent's turn. And that's game. Kickfire wins him the duel. 5,000 burn. Shuzo will be moving on. Yeah, there are some characters you just don't expect to see lose. But then we're going to have a really good duel coming up next. No matter what, we're going to have a good duel because it's going to be Shuzo ver uh, Not right now, but like next round. It's going to be Shuzo versus Shingo. That's going to be intense. All right. Oh, well, when this decides to load, come on. There we go. The next duel is between two fan favorite characters. It's Sora versus Yudo, everybody. Sora versus Yudo. Uh, he, I'm going to say it right now, Laser. He does not have Phantom Knights. They don't exist. I can already tell you all of Yudo's decks do not have that. Yudo versus Sora. Alright, there we go. Sora is up next, everybody. Sora is up next. Yudo's deck, I don't even know what to tell you, Arkito. It has Dark Rebellion Dragon is all I can say. He is, it is not good. Yudo's deck in this game is not good. They nerfed him to hell. They nerfed him to hell and back. He's got nothing. The only thing he's got is Dark Rebellion Dragon. That's it. Alright, let me take a little look over here. There we go. And let me take a little look over here. You know, it's hiding at the bottom. the one all right here we go everybody time for the duel yudo versus sora <laughs> not that kind of sora disney nerd <laughs> Sora also struggles in this series because he, he has trouble getting his fusions out. When he gets his fusions out, he wins the duel. But before that, he always struggles. It looks like Yudo at least got some a basic start, so that's nice. Oh, he got fusion! Okay, he got his fusion. There you go. Oh, well, I guess he does. Oh, Tour Guide from the Underworld. That's something. And now he's got Edge Gym Sabers. That's good. And Wall of Illusion says no. Good job there, Sora. Oh, Zoma the Spirit. That's a good card. Bakora showed us how good that card is. Oh, he's going to do it. He got his Dark Rebellion. There it is. All right, that's game. <laughs> like I said, if he managed to get Dark Rebellion, that's the only way he would beat Sora. Alright, he took half his opponent's attack points, which luckily for Sora was not that many. But he's still going to take a huge hit. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I would play defensively too. I would probably play defensively too. Another Zoma Spirit! Oh no. And a Fusion Reserve. What the hell? 
Alright, Death Toy Scissors Bear. Got him for Okay, got him an animal. And Dark Rebellion Dragon now has 3,800 attack points, but unless it does piercing... Oh, we got Punch in the box! And Zoma Spirit is gone! Okay, well, that's nice. And that bear got him the toy vendor. I don't I don't know if toy vendor can help him in this situation. We're gonna see a fusion! Dark Rebellion versus Sora's fusion monster. There we go. What are we making today? And Zo, oh, what the hell? That looks weak as hell. Death Toy Scissors Tiger. It's not very strong. Oh wait, but what does it do? Oh wait, the Phantom Knights of Shadow Veil! And it's gone! He did it! Little Sora freaking beat Dark Rebellion Dragon! And he's gonna summon another Edge Gym Scissors! And he's got another one! Well, damn! I'm actually really impressed with Sora! Okay, I didn't know the Tiger was gonna pop two cards. I thought it was just the Tiger with weak attack points. All right. He's still not out of this duel yet. All Yudo has to do is get another, uh... Okay, that, that might be Mirror Force. Oh, welcome, Nitro. It might be a Mirror Force. Sora looks, is looking pretty good. All he needed to do was summon his tiger. And the game-winning attack is nothing! He's got Wabaku! And wait, a trap card is activating on Wabaku's effect. Alright. Can he summon another? No, he didn't get another level 4 monster! Unlucky! Oh, I think Sora's got this in the bag. This is looking like it's over. One good attack. It looks like Sora will be the one to move on. Yudo at least summoned the Dark Rebellion Dragon, which we never see him do. And the Tiger wins him the duel. Death Toy Scissors Tiger! Sora is our winner, everybody. And we'll be moving on into the next round. Alright, good job, little kid. Good job. All right, Yudo, let's, I mean, Sora, let's find out who your next opponent's going to be. It's either going to be Mieru or Michio. Michio, I shit you not, is the Hungry Burger guy. And Mieru, I believe she uses a uh, Ritual deck. I, I honestly can't remember the exact Ritual monsters, but I know she uses a Ritual deck. Astro Phoenix, it, oh, that was the GX tournament. We're doing the Arc 5 tournament. The GX tournament happened last time, and he already qualified. Astro Phoenix got second place. So he already qualified for the tournament. The big tournament. Alright, let's see. We got... Yeru... Sorry if I misspelled their names. Versus... Michio. There we go. I know, right, Wind Dracoon? I can't, a Dracoon? I can't believe it's been so long since they made one of these kind of games. And this game has more characters but less effort. Like, they took out all the animations and stuff, so that's kind of crazy that they won't just do it again. But what are you going to do? You can't make them do... I mean, they didn't even release this game in the States. So it's like, damn. Even if they do make an Attack Force game, I don't even think we're going to get it. Where's this Michio guy? Sorry guys, I'm having trouble finding the cook. He's from the Cuisine Duel School. Alright, I think I found him, and I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Miero versus Michio. I don't know who Prediction Princess is, I didn't watch the show. Her deck is called Blue Fortune. Fortune Prediction, I guess that makes sense, so yeah.
Alright, here we go. Let's see if Michio can win. Obviously, my money is on the girl that actually looks strong compared to this guy because he doesn't have an extra deck and literally he's just a food deck. Anything that has anything to do with food. Okay, she has Necro. I was right. So she does have Necros. She's going to use Necros of Colossals to get the field. I mean, the ritual spell. She's going to play the ritual spell immediately. Using her extra deck, she gets to summon Necros of Cataster. And that lets her special summon Necros of Cataster. Two ritual monsters in one turn. That's crazy. When all the tournaments are over, Jesthor. When all the tournaments are over. And Cherry in Mado is dead. But that doesn't mean he's done yet. Because he gets another Cherry in Mado. Times two. And now in Mado has joined the party. Sadly, he does not have any Exceed monsters. So I don't know what he's going to do. He's got to find a card that can buff his cards. So I summon Spicy Spy. Alright. I activate the effect of Spicy Spy. What does it do? He gains 600 life points for some reason. Was that really worth it? Alright. Well, that's what he thought was worth it, everybody. There's nothing I can do. And she's going to summon the Great Sorcerer of the Necroz. First things first. He's going to take 1,000 damage. And there goes in Mado. And there goes in Mado. He still has a freaking. What is it? Tomato, cherry, whatever? Cherry and Mado. I summon Spicy Spy. It's starting to become very obvious who's gonna win this. Whoa! He gained 2200. Okay, wait. Now he's stronger. Spicy, by, uh, Spicy Spy actually has some good attack stat now. Jack, Aster, Crow, and Alexis appear in the Arc 5 of this series. Yeah, that is kind of cool. And there goes another Inmato, which means he probably gets to summon more Inmatos if he has them. Yeah, he's got one more. And it's gone. Alright, now let's see... Oh, yeah, Muyan Curry! Who are you? Alright. He's healing. The strategist of Necroz has been defeated. I don't know how this card just barely has enough attack to hold back the opponent. But he's gonna need a little bit more power. Oh, no, the opponent's done. They're willing to just trade. And Necroz of Cataster is gonna do the damage. Oh, he's got his ritual spell, Preparation of Rights. He's going for Hungry Burger. But, I mean, what's the point? Oh, another Spicy Spy. Can he gain another 1,000 attack points? I don't know. It did. Yeah, it has 2,200 attack. So he's holding on, guys. This guy who uses food is holding on. Oh, look at that. They both run Preparation of Rights, but she actually has, uh, you know. Yeah, she actually has better ritual monsters. He's just got Hungry Burger. I think the only person Machio will ever beat is... Uh, oh, that's one with 2300 attack. And Herald of Arclight's Necros of Valkyrius. That card looks strong. Wait, is that another one? Oh, man, another Ritual Summon. And we got Necros of Valkyrius, everybody. Oh, God, what effects do you even have? And Necros of Clausalus? Claw I don't even know. And Spicy Spy is done for. And Michio is probably done for. Not this turn, but he is done for. Alright. Well, let's see if you can do anything, Michio. How is this a 50-50 vote? You guys voted 50-50 on these characters. Oh, he's gonna do it! Screw it! I don't care! He got rid of the lobster and the tomato to summon the Hungry Burger. I freaking love this guy. He at least summoned it at the very end. We got Hungry Burger. Officially, he won. As far as I'm concerned, he won the duel.
He made this burger out of tomato and lobster. And the game is over. Mieru will be moving on, everybody. But honestly, I'm just glad I got to see Hungry Burger today. That makes me a happy camper. Very happy camper. Alright, looking at our list, there's only two fights left of the first round. And they are Hakuto versus Gen. That's the first one we're going to go with. Hakuto versus Gen. Gen uses the battle guards. Hakuto, I don't remember. You guys have to do that for me. Everyone in chat, who is Hakuto and what does he use? Constellers. Okay, they're Constellers versus battle guards. I like that. Hakuto Matata. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let me set this up real quick. I got a text. Uh-huh. And then we got good old Gen. All right, guys, go ahead and place your bets. Place your bets. I'm going to go ahead and set up the characters. He's the XYZ duelist. Yeah, he's the XYZ duelist. That is correct. I don't remember if Hakuto has ever placed, but I do remember he's at least won duels before. So he's not bad. Just saying, I don't remember if he's ever placed. Alright guys, let's do this. Gen versus Hakuto. Consta Constellers, or whatever they're called, versus, uh, versus Battle Guards. I would give it to Constellers any day of the week, but I don't know. Let's see what Hakuto can do. He's going to start the duel by activating this. Light Monster's effects cannot be negated. And he's got Luminous Spark, and he's got this other Continuous Spell card. Yeah, the, okay, no monsters yet. And Pot of Duality, a really good card. He can get a Lava Battle Guard, a Terraforming, or a Battle Guard King. He chose Lava. I'm surprised. I would have chosen the Field Spell. And his dumb AI, for some reason, did not choose the Field Spell. Hey, we got our first monster, Constellar Cause. All right, Gen, maybe you draw your field spell so you don't just lose this duel? No? Okay, well, you at least drew a monster you can summon. That's nice. Now, Gen breaking on monsters makes sense because a lot of his monsters are level 5 and higher, but we'll see. Oh, Constellar Virgo. I don't know much about it, but let's see what it does. He special summons Constellar Zubin Schmal. Schmal. And that lets him get one monster to his hand, Constellar Antares. And we're going to see an Exceed Summon, which is that one. Constellar Pladius. Pladius. I don't know how to say that name. And let's see what happens. It bounced back to the hand, and he gets to draw a card, and he's got 3,000 attack. That's way too many. That's way too many attack points. Now, even if Gen does get his field spell, what's the point? He's never going to be able to beat this guy. This Destiny Drill's got to be pretty legendary. Look at those eyes. And that legend, uh, that Destiny Drill probably wasn't legendary. The duel is just about over, guys. I don't know why he did two of those, but whatever. Oh, he's going to evolve. Okay. He has evolved, everyone. Into Ptolemy Smim 7. And he gets to draw two cards. This is the end of the duel. Gen is defeated. This guy just wrecked him. I don't know who Akuto really is, but he's showing up this tournament. There we go. Now let's get this going. We are on the last duel of round number one. 
The last opponents will be Yuya and Reiji, two fan favorite characters from Arc 5. Yuya, the main character, main protagonist versus Reiji and his Triple D deck. Reiji versus Yuya. All right, place your bets on the final fight of round one. Final fight of round one. After this fight, every fight matters. Every fight will decide a representative. That's right, Amon. Sora won. It was uh, pretty interesting. He took down Dark Rebellion Dragon. I don't know who to bet on on this one either. I think they're both uh, pretty good duelists. Um... But it's it, this is this is definitely a tough one, guys. This is definitely going to be a tough one. Let's see what we got. Final duel of round one will begin now. Place your bets. Are you a Reiji fan or are you a Yuya fan? A lot of ragey guys, okay. A lot of ragey fans here. Alright. Do it! Ooh, this music is really good. I like this as the final duel of round one. And we're actually gonna see a pendulum monster! Pendulum summon, everybody! It actually happened! Even though there's barely any pendulum monsters, we got Hell Armor getting the Cruel End Overlord, which might not be its real name, but whatever. On the first turn. Yeah, you just said the line. Whip Viper? That has the perfect effect for this. Pendulum Dragon Odd Eyes? What the hell? Pendulum Wizard? What? He ends his turn. I thought Whip Blizzard was going to be able to change the opponent's attack point. I guess he couldn't? I don't know. He's activated Continuous Spell, Covenant with the Hellgate. Okay. Getting himself a Proud Ogre. That's a pretty scary monster. Cerberus has joined the battle. Pendulum Summoning. This looks really scary. Alright. And we got a Trap Card. Command Performance. Whoa. They're all in defense mode now. Yuya, you're actually holding on, which is adorable. Heavy Storm! Oh, that's a big hit! That is a huge hit from Yuya. If he can get rid of some of these monsters right now, this is great. Get rid of all the big ones. Holy crap, Yuya managed to pull off the best card in his deck. Heavy Storm is literally going to stop Reiji from resummoning his monsters infinitely. And we got DD Lilith. I don't know what this is. Oh, he at least got a Pendulum Monster back. Okay. And we got an XYZ Summon. The hell is that thing? Triple D Caesar the Wave Overlord. It's got 3,200 attack. Okay, I don't know what this is. Entertainment Trample Lynx. I, I don't get it. It looks like that XYZ monster is way too much for Yuya. It's still got 2400 attack. There goes the whip. Hey, agree guy, you haven't missed too much. We're on the end of round one. This is probably one of the coolest duels so far. Well, no, we've had some cool duels, but this is good. Dark Hole? What are you thinking? Yuya, you crazy bastard! You're not even attacking him directly? I know, I can't believe he didn't even use Whip Viper. And too late now. Pendulum Summon. Up to level 8. So he can get Proud Ogre. And now it has 3100 attack, but he pays 500. Now it has 3600 attack. There goes Entertainment Trump Witch. 
That's not looking good. Okay, Yuya, you need to draw something because you're really low and going low on cards now. Oh, Yuya bricked! And he's just going to keep getting stronger. 500 more points. That Proud Ogre is going to do over half of Yuya's health in one attack. Three face downs. Even an, a, another heavy storm wouldn't be enough. And there's only one in his deck. At least Reiji showed us a pendulum summon. We never get to see pendulum summons. That's right, that proud ogre could punch an obelisk the tormentor. Entertainment friend donkey! Entertainment whip viper, but you don't know how to use its effect because you're an idiot. Oh, you know how to use his effect, but you just never did! Alright, we're going to see if he can actually kill with three traps on the field. Nah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. He actually used Whip Viper, but it didn't make a difference. And it's gone! That's a busted trap card. Yeah, you pay a thousand, but you won the duel, so busted trap. And Yuya, unless you have a Karibo in your hands, this is the end. Once again, another main character has been knocked out of their own tournament. Reiji, you are looking good. I like that Yuya put up a little bit of a fight, but you know, Reiji's just looking too strong. We got a lot of good representatives already. And uh, look, uh, look, it looks like we're going to have a lot of good representatives already. So let me go ahead and show you guys who are your top eight. The next winners of the... F uh, the next people to win their fights will be your representatives. All right, everybody? No matter what. Will it be Hakuto or Reiji? Sora or Mieru? Shingo or Shuzo? Yuzu or Masumi? It's time to find out. The first fight and the first person to become a representative will be Masumi or Yuzu. Yuzu barely had a comeback and it was pretty hype. So, so far I think Yuzu had the hypest duel. And apparently this is an anime fight, why not? I said Masumi would make it because she's already made it before. And history likes to repeat itself. Plus I've never seen Yuzu ever, like, perform well. Alright, let me go ahead and do this. Go ahead and place your bets, everybody. Place your bets. Are you, a, are you a Masumi fan or are you a Yuzu fan? It should be a tough... It should be a tough duel. Alright. Here we go. Three, two... One, who's going to be our representative? I want to put my money down on Masumi. Just because she's more consistent. And I've never seen Yuzu perform well. Lots of money going on. <clears throat> Sorry, lots of money going on Masumi right now. We got a set monster, all right. Basic start, no traps though. <clears throat> and some money going on Yuzu now. Oh, first turn fusion of Master Diamond. That's really rough. Good luck, Yuzu. Good freaking luck. You got to deal with Master Diamond on the first turn. Also, she can fuse again. She's going to fuse again. It's only the first turn and she's got everything. Literally everything. Big ass monsters all around. And it's not over yet. She could still special summon. Masumi, leave her alone. Oh, thank God for Shining Angel. Thank God. And why didn't you just tick pick another Shining Angel? Unless that card has an effect I don't know about. Oh my God, you didn't just pick another Shining Angel. You're so dumb. And that's not good. That Gemini monster just got normal. So it has an effect now. I don't know why she didn't do it before the turn. Whatever. 
We have Nova Summoner with a creature swap. I guess you could kill your own Nova Summoner. That's something. Yeah, your opponent, your opponent's gonna wreck you. And you could use that to summon that guy, gal. Sorry. I guess. Oh man, this is looking terrible. Yeah, I think Steven Universe is gonna be our representative yet again. Masumi's just got the power of the gems. And would you look at that? She's got the fusion card in her hand. And she's gonna do it again! But this time, fu wait, what? Did she just misplay? I think she just misplayed everybody. The AI don't know, don't work so good. The brain has been destroyed. But she has a normal summon, so she could still summon Tourmaline. All right, the AI misplay might do something. It might give Yuzu a chance, but I don't think so. She can't help herself. If she has the ability to fuse, she'll just freaking fuse. All right, that Destiny draw better be a good one. It's not. It's not. This isn't arc. I mean, this isn't dual monsters or or uh, dual monsters with mirror force and magic cylinder or GX with mirror force. Or Dark Hole. Alright, let's see. Particle Fusion. What? What? Stop fusing! You don't need to fuse! I don't even know if that card's any good. Brilliant Emerald. You have 4,700 attack. Does it do piercing? Nobody can attack twice! And it does their damage! Oh, wow, that's game! Never mind, this card's busted. Never mind, that card was busted. Yuzu's out. You're one of your representatives, and a person who was a representative in the last tournament is Masumi. But this time, she might not be going for third. She might go for first or second. There we go. So, Masumi will be your representative yet again. No matter what, we're going to have two repeat representatives. Only two, though. Masumi and either Shingo or Shuzo. So let's go ahead and move Masumi up. Now it's time for a really tough duel. Anybody that can predict who's going to win this is a genius. Because this is going to be such a hard duel to predict. Will it be Yuzo or Shuzo or Shingo? Who do you guys think will win? Because literally I don't even know. Two of the strongest characters that bullied the crap out of me. Will it be the Fire Kings or will it be the uh, Yosenjus? Yeah, Shingo has beaten him before, but it was a close duel. It could e it could easily go either way. You've seen how both their decks works. It could go either way. All right. Place in the bets. There you guys go. Go ahead and place your bets. I'm going to start this fight. Yeah, this one's going to be really hard. If you want to see Destiny Board Laser, you got to come tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're going to see Destiny Board. Tomorrow's tournament will have a Destiny Board player. <laughs> All right, let's see it. We're going to start with the training grounds. This is his best card. But he's going to set a monster, which he never usually does. Okay. Shingo playing a little passively. That's interesting. Terraforming. Just for the field spell power-up? Okay. Looks like Shuzo's going to be going for the power-up. He got himself Fire King Avatar Barong. And that Fire King's got 2,400 attack points. One comma is dead. Heavy Storm on your own training grounds? What are you thinking? Monster aboard on your own Yosenju? What are you thinking? Tributing? Yeah, that makes sense. That's the first thing you did that made sense.
And he's got another one of those spell cards, so he gets another monster. He wants Yaksha this time. Not like Yaksha could do anything. Honestly, Shuzo's gonna have to wait till he gets his boss monster out. Only the boss monster can win this. Alright, Yaksha is dead. Alright, what now? Alright, we got Coach Soldier Wolf Bark. I don't know anything about that. Oh, well, I guess he got him two level fours if he wants to exceed summon. He's gonna exceed summon, everybody. And that looks like a different type of a Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King. It gets him another spell card. That spell card gets him another monster. And he got another Barong. And by using his monster's effect, he now has 2,400 attack points, just enough to beat the opponent's monster. And there it goes. Alright, looks like Shuzo has a big advantage here. But his opponent just got his own fire formation tanky to get out his Yosenju comma number two. And it can attack directly, that's about it. It's looking pretty good for Shuzo, actually. The Fire Kings might be able to do this. This is a ton of damage. Shingo, your weakness is your monsters don't stay on the goddamn field. They're like spirit monsters. Your life points are in danger, buddy. Come on, you're the winner of the team tournament for crying out loud. Super rare duelists like me are chosen by the cards. All right. And he got his continuous spell card, and he's going to choose Yosenju number two comma again. And he's got a spell card. I don't know what it does. It's locked down that card. He's summoning comma number two. To destroy the opponent's monster. The opponent's monster lets him destroy that card, which I think was the Fire King. And I believe that Fire King will end the duel soon. On, on the standby phase, here it comes. The boss monster of boss monsters. One normal summon and it's over! Shingo, the winner of the last team tournament, does not even qualify for this team tournament. God freaking damn it. And that's it! Shuzo will be moving on. Damn. That's rough. That's, that's actually rough. A loss is a loss. Shuzo will be moving on. The next fight will be Sora versus Mieru. Will Sora win, uh, win a spot or will he get knocked out yet again like he always does? Mieru and her Necrozes are pretty scary though, so I can't count them out. I'm setting you up right now. Fusion deck versus a ritual deck, everybody. This should be a good one. This should be a good one. Unless, you know, he doesn't get his fusions like he usually does. But if Sora can win this, you'll finally have him as a representative. I know a lot of people are fans of Sora for some reason. He's fine, I guess. I like fusion monsters. But, uh, yeah. Miru, she's got her, she's got her future prediction stuff, so we'll see. Fusion versus Rituals, here we go. Place your bets, place your bets. First fight's going. They both look like crazy kids. Look at their eyes. They both look like they're just crazy, insane kids. Alright, she's going to start the duel very simply, just with a defense mode monster. No spells, no traps, which is fine. And Sora's going to start with a good old tour guide of the underworld. Not very powerful cards, all things considered. And a Ryoku, which, why the hell would you do that? You're stealing, you're giving your own monster, your, okay. I guess. Oh, it's Big Eye! That gives her the ability to see the future. Alright. 
All right, let's see if Miss Future Prediction gave herself a ritual spell. Nope, but she gave herself even uh, something even better. A card that will give her a ritual spell. Oh, she didn't need to. She already had the ritual spell. By getting rid of one Synchro Monster. There we go. Cataster is here. And there you go. She still gets the ritual spell. 22 under attack is quite a problem. And now your scissors are gone. I would have saved that Ryoki card, honestly. Unless you don't have fusion, which I honestly is very understandable. I've seen many duels where Sora doesn't even get out a single fusion monster. Alright, Sora, let's see what you got. He's got Furnimal, Furnimal and Owl, which does... Oh, it gets in Polymerization. That's a freebie. And he's going to do it. We're going to see a fusion, everybody. The Owl is going to mix in with the Saber Scissors. And that gets him the Tiger. Is that good? I remember it did that, but... Oh, it doesn't have to pop two. And he's got Fusion Weapon. It rocks 3,700 attack points. And he's got Fusion Recovery. He might not be done. Holy crap, I haven't seen Fusion Weapon since my childhood. And he's going to bring back the Edge Imp Scissors. The kid's not done yet. He's got Polymerization. What will he make? He's going to make the Wolf. Scissor Wolf. It's got 2,600 attack. He's about to do 6,600 damage. Oh, it attacks twice. The game's over on turn six. You can't predict this. That was amazing, Sora. Sora will be one of your representatives in the representative tournament, everybody. Rituals versus fusions, and the fusions won out. Great job, Sora. Holy crap. That tiger can attack. I mean, that wolf can attack twice. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's go over to uh, the bracket. Sora is your representative. The final representative will either be Hakuto or Reiji. So we have two new representatives and two returning representatives. Who do you guys think it will be? Hakuto or Reiji? Ghost Wolf, why didn't you vote for Sora if you like Sora? Alright, here we go. I find the Sakudo guy. Where are you? So no matter what, we only have one ca main character with a voice actor that that made it. We only have one character with a voice actor that made it. So who are you guys going to vote for? Constellers or um, Triple D Monsters? Because Reiji, he did really freaking good. Like, he actually Pendulum Summoned, which is something we don't see very often. Even with... Even, this is the freaking Arc 5 tournament, and only one character has actually Pendulum Summoned. And it was him, Reiji. All right, here we go. And it looks like we might see it again. We got Pendulum level 6 to 10. He can summon really strong monsters. He's going to normal summon DD Lilith first, and then we're going to see a Pendulum summon. It's DDD Leonidas, the Rebellious Lord. And now it's level 4 with 3,000 attack points, because why the hell not? There goes a Constellar Monster, and there goes a hundred of Hokuto's life points. And a special summon. He can summon an XYZ monster of the level 3 variety. Or the level 6 variety. Alright, that's nice. 2400 attack points is okay. 
It's not the worst, it's not the best. He at least got rid of that Lilith card. Doesn't want to deal with it. And he did a ton of damage while doing so. Oh, he's down to level 8 now. So he can only summon level 7 monsters using that, uh, that thing. Oh, what? It's back to the hand. Oh, it's level 10 again. And we're going to get a Pendulum Summon yet again. This time of the level 7. Oh, double Leonidas. That's scary. And no, those two are level 4 monsters. Yeah, I don't know how Kudo is going to deal with double Leonidas. That seems like a problem. Attacking Direct. Yeah, a little 400 damage. Akuto's still winning by life points, but Reiji's got the field for sure. Yeah, but you don't ever get to XYZ summon when your opponent's just wrecking you. Akuto, your opponent's just wrecking you, man. And one last spell card, the Covenant with the Hellgate. Not like it matters, looking at the field right now, freaking Reiji's got this. And he even drew a Proud Ogre, which he can't summon. And the trap card, coming in with the Valkyrie. Oh god, the duel might be over. Yeah, that's 6,400 damage. It's almost over. It's literally almost over. Hakuto's gonna have to draw some really magical card to save him right now. Because Leonidas does not care. Ray Hakuto, do you have something that can... You need Heavy Storm and Dark Hole, honestly. Because, like, Pendulum Summoning... Well, I guess... Yeah, now that his levels have changed, maybe it doesn't matter. Here comes the Destiny draw. He's just gonna set a monster. That's it. That's game. Reiji's going for the kill. It looks like Reiji's gonna be your last representative for Arc 5. Honestly, Arc 5's looking pretty strong. Masumi was pretty good. Um... I would say, um, Sora's weakish, but Shuzo's amazing. So yeah, I think Arc 5 is looking pretty strong this season, just like they did last season. And there goes his monster. And a, oh, is he going to summon his boss? Do a triple D Hell Armageddon card? And that looks like game to me, everybody. GG! Reiji will be your final representative. Now it is time to see. Where will the representatives be put? Where are we going to see them? Alright, Reiji, you win. Who's getting first, second, third, and fourth? We got two fusion people, Sora and Misumi. Then we got a pendulum guy, and then we got a fire king guy who doesn't use... Oh, he has exceed monsters. So yeah, we're in top four now, everyone. Let's do it. Sora versus Reiji, Masumi versus Shuzo. I'm honestly just going to say it's going to be Reiji versus Shuzo in the end. That's what it looks like. Alright, here we go. I swear all the time, Pytoon. You just can't say very certain swears. Alright, Shuzo versus... Oh, uh, what's... Masumi. Masumi. You really think Masumi can win? Fire Kings are just a little too busted, in my opinion. Everyone says the S F word. We all gotta say fuck sometimes. But it might be blanked out. It doesn't matter. Unless you're under the age of 18, then just be a better person. Don't say it. Alright. This is Place your bets, everybody. Place your bets. Yeah, this one should be Shuzo's win, right? There's, like, no reason it's not going to be. This one should be Shuzo's win. Alright. But, you know, we've seen some- we've seen some miracles in the past, everyone. We've actually seen some miracles. I would say if Masumi wins this duel, it would be due to her summoning. Not ru she, one thing is she ruins her own summons, so don't don't think she's just going to be perfect. Sometimes she fusions her own fusion monsters, 
but who knows. Plus, Shuzo, the second he gets out his Fire King, whatever it's called, Avatar, Ashtar, that's when the duel ends. All of his opponents lose when that happens. Unless he's fighting like a remove from play guy, which there's not any of them in the tournament so far. Or a Gravekeeper person, and sadly, uh, Shizu did lose. Alright, from his hand, he's got the Fire King. And that's it, guys! He already got his boss monster. That's how the duel ended. She at least got a Gem Knight Fusion to her hand, but yeah, this is literally how the duel's gonna end. That Fire King card's gonna come back, and it's gonna keep coming back. Even if she overpowers it, it's just going to keep coming back. It's called Garudix? Okay, Garunix, whatever it is. He's even got Kickfire to Burner, which uh, he's going to be doing soon. That's one token, or one counter, sorry. We're going to see a Gem Knight Fusion, which is good, but unless it... Okay, it's Master Diamond, but unless it's a fusion that literally removes from play the monster or negates the effects of a monster in the graveyard, there's not much she can do. Well, at least she got a monster back, but yeah. She's not even going to normal summon. I don't know if I blame her. Circle of the Fire Kings. I think it dies, and then that means... Yep, it comes back on the standby phase. And she set a card which will just be killed immediately. Sardonyx is dead. All right, Wolf Bark is here to help him get another monster. Maybe for an Exceed Summon, we might get to see a stronger card. We are going to see a stronger card. There we go. Gem Knight Pearl. Wow, she's uh, that's actually her monster. He, he summoned that to taunt her. He summoned a Gem Knight just to taunt her. Masumi doesn't... She has to get a Fusion card or she loses. Oh, wait, can he just kick fire and win? I think he already won. Yeah, he wins by kick fire, right? And it's over. Standby phase, game. Masumi is out of here. Shuzo won on turn five. It wasn't a new record. Turn four was the record this tournament, but yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I warned you. Now, interestingly enough go. Masumi got third place in the last representative tournament. Let's see if she's going to do it again. Is she actually going to place the exact same way? Because that means she's very consistent. And consistency is not a bad thing. Not at all. Shuzo got second place last tournament. I'm expecting him to get first this tournament. Alright. It's time for Sora versus Reiji. Yeah, I, I, I would not have bet on Masumi. I'm just saying right now. I, I would not have. I said she'd be a representative. In fact, most of the people I said that would be representatives are representatives. Not all of them, but most of them. I don't think I... Did I predict the kid with scissors? No, I think I said you don't... No, I did. Did I say him? I don't remember. I don't remember the beginning of the stream. All right, everyone. Place your bets. Place your bets. The final semifinal match is here. Yeah, Shingo can probably be in Redemption. He's a main character. In fact, you might as well just expect Shingo in Redemption, for sure. But that's next week. Redemption Tournament will happen next week. Hey, Go Angel, or Go, go Hangle, thank you so much. I appreciate for the sub. That's very kind of you. I hope you're excited to see Sora in, in the gang. Right here, trying to win. I will not put Hungry Burger Guy in Redemption. Be happy I allowed him in this tournament. <laughs> we already have enough food people in the in the in the Redemption tournament. Their names are Chumley and freaking um, the Tomato Guy. There we go, and here we go. It's time for Sora versus 
Oh wait, no, that's the wrong deck. Hold up. It's Serious Scissors. Sorry, his deck's confusing because all of his decks have scissors in the name. I almost messed up on that. I knew something was there. Yeah, Sora versus uh, Reiji. My prediction is Reiji just takes it. The way he's been dueling, it has to be him. Yasai with his tomatoes, that is correct. Alright, we're gonna start the duel with a pendulum summon. That's just the way this guy plays. How many pendulums? Just one. And it's gonna be the Triple D Hell Armageddon, the Cruel End Overlord. Yeah, I would play pretty passively too, Sora. I understand. He did summon a 3,000 attack point monster. Hey, Fusion Reserve. That's going to come in handy. Get yourself your Edge Gym Scissors that you've been waiting for. And we got another Pendulum Summon. Of, of DD Lilith. Okay. And we got a Punch in the Box. Goodbye, DD Lilith. And we got a Triple D Reserve Management. Okay, a bunch of Proud Ogres for some reason. And he's going to tribute his monster for a Proud Ogre. I'm so confused. Oh, no, he gets it back. What? That's cheating. Reiji, that's actually cheating. You can't just get it back like that. That's literally cheating. What is little Sora supposed to do? You don't got Donald and Goofy to save him this time. All right. It doesn't even if it doesn't get its effect. It still has 3,000 attack. Oh my god, this guy's busted! Being able to re uh, resummon monsters like that? That's insanity. Tour Guide from the Underworld is dead. Edge Imp Simsers, uh, Sabers is dead. And Sora is probably dead. Alright, Sora, did you get Polly? Because if you didn't, just surrender. Alright, he's gonna summon Summoner Monk, which I don't think matters. He threw away a random spell card to special sub Infernal Dog. And that gets him a Infernal Dog. And that gets him an Edge Imp Scissors. I guess he used that to just hide- Oh, he does have Polly! That could come in handy! A Triple Fusion! What the hell? This is the first time he's ever done a Triple Fusion! Oh, it's the Tiger, but it does Triple Destruction! One! Two! Three! Triple destruction! The tiger has done it! But it's now removed from play, so as good as that was, it's gone. Sora, you did good, but the second he gets a pendulum monster, it's over. He didn't get a pendulum monster! Sora, go punch him in the face! This is your only chance, kid! Punch this man in the face! Literally, you need to do it now! He's going to punch him in the face! Sora's fighting back! I can't believe it! I thought Reiji had like a guaranteed victory. Look how strong his deck is, but Sora summoned one tiger with three uh, versions of it. Alright, the, although the second Reiji gets a good pendulum monster, it's over. Cerberus is okay, but he had targeted the wrong card in my opinion. Holy crap, Sora might actually have a chance in this duel, guys. I shit you not. Sora might have a chance. He just needs Polly. And he's gonna summon the Crane Crane. And that's gonna give him the Edge Imp Sabers. He's going all in. That Tiger does gain 500 attack. It can actually beat that monster. 1700 damage. 1200 damage. And Crane Crane sadly has like no attack points. Reiji is in death zone. Crane Crane beatdown, yeah. Holy crap. Sora might have a chance. And it's... Wait, he could summon a level 4 pendulum. He could summon... Oh wait, no, that's up to level 5. Sorry. And it's just Cerberus. That's actually not as strong as he had hoped. He didn't go after the tiger! Or the Leo. He should have went after Leo. Unless he has a trap. He might have a trap. That trap might be the thing to save him. 
All right, Furnival Bear's effect. It got him a toy vendor. And he summoned Dark Hexseal. Wait, can he do it? He's gonna Hexseal Fusion? He got the Death Toy Scissor Tiger, but it doesn't get its effect because it wasn't regularly fused. And he killed the monster. This could be game. He's going for the game. Sora's going to the finals. He beat Reiji. Sora actually beat Reiji. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually crazy. He beat Reiji. Alright. Oh, a lot of people that were willing to bet on Sora. These upset squad lovers. You win. You did it. You earned your bits. Because you believed in the person you liked the most. Alright, but now we need to take a little second to breathe. Because it's time for the third place match. It's time to see who's going to get the worst position and who's going to get the second worst position. Uh, uh, second to worst position. It's either going to be Masumi or Reiji. Uh, and this needs to load already. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go do my other stuff. Maybe I'll load by the time I get there. All right, going here. Yeah, anybody that was willing to bet on Sora, they were brave and they deserve all the money they got. Literally deserve it all. You were brave. All right, Reiji's gonna get some revenge right now by taking down Masumi. Although, if you know what, if he lost to that fusion character, Sora, then I'm sure Masumi can actually beat Reiji. How I don't, guys, come on, come on, Sora, <laughs> Sora's not gonna beat Shuzo. Let's not, let's not get crazy. You've seen what Shuzo can do this entire tournament. This entire tournament, we've been watching Sh Shuzo just wreck everybody. I'm not playing Pokemon while streaming, I promise you. But it is, I, I, I get distracted by things. I only pull out the Pokemon when I don't, ha when I don't have things to do. It's a way to kill time, especially when I'm like editing or rendering videos and I have to wait. All right, here we go, guys. Third of uh, the bronze place match. Masumo versus, uh, Masumi versus Reiji. I don't play Pokemon Go. I enjoyed it for that one, two months in, in, in when it got released and then I stopped. Um, I play Pokemon Yellow right now for fun. My Onyx is already overleveled. All right. So, Masumi has the basic start. Nothing wrong with this kind of a start. He did not get a Pendulum Monster. This is the first time I've seen Reiji not play a Pendulum Monster. All right, Masumi, she's... Th wow, her AI really has to think about this one. They usually play super quick, but no. She's going to summon Rock Gem Armadillo to get any Gem Knight. Oh, and it's gone. This man loves to remove from play monsters, doesn't he? He at least, She at least got Garden, which is a pretty powerful Gem Knight. That's good. She has Gem Knight Fusion in her hand. She just didn't use it. Okay. And with these two, what can she make? That's the good one, I think, right? That, that one's pretty good. And she can get both those fusion materials right back to her hands. Very nice. And Pyroxene Fusion, a trap fusion. What the hell? Whoa, that's a new one. We got Gem Knight Prismara. Anything else? No, that's pretty good. But he's got a trap covenant with the Valkyrie. Goodbye. And there goes DD Magical Astronomer. And it gets to attack tight twice. Topaz is doing pretty good. And she got Gem Knight Fusion back by removing from play two cards. And she's going to Gem Knight Fusion right now for no reason. And she just summoned a super strong monster to defend herself. 2900 attack is pretty safe. But did, don't you know that your opponent has a trap card that literally will just kill it? I don't think you knew that. And it's gone. Yes, I, I hope that was worth it to you. Covenant with the Swamp King? What the hell is that? Wait, Fusion? What? He had a Fusion this whole time? Wait, what? 
Is he making fun of her? He's using fusion against her? I'm very confused. I am so confused right now. Triple D, D Blaze Overlord. Well, she's dead because his trap card is just going to keep killing her. And she's got... Oh, she absorbed fusion! Okay, so she gets this, and that's nothing. Never mind, I thought it would give her the chance to come back. I, th I thought it was like fusion recovery, but I guess I was wrong. And there goes another thousand life points. Another thousand life... Well, Reiji, calm down there. You might be uh, costing yourself a little bit too much. In fact, it's a race to the bot. Wait a minute. If she can last one turn. If she can last one turn, she can live and win. She got a set card. I don't know if it can save her. If he draws a monster, the duel's over. A thousand dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, if he doesn't summon a monster right now. He doesn't have a monster! She's gonna win! Masumi's gonna get third place again! And Reiji's out of here! Levin, thank you so much for the follow! Holy crap, she's gonna win! It's over! All she has to do is end her turn! Yeah, why not? Play a monster just in case! Reiji killed himself! Once again, Masumi will be your third place representative, the exact same place she had in the last tournament. And Reiji, he at least made it this time, he didn't make it in the last one. But standby phase comes. One more cost and it's over. And it's over! Masumi pulls off a victory just by hanging on by a thread. Just by hanging on by a thread, she wins. Very close duel, very 50-50 in the chat. Very 50-50. Gem Knight's there. Triple D monsters did make it, but they will be in the worst bracket. Whereas Gem Knight's will- they did make it, and they will be in an okay bracket. Not the worst bracket, but okay. Alright. Now, let's get over here. Uh, where's the bracket? Uh, there we go. It loaded in. Good. But Sumi, you did it. You get third place again. And now it's time for the finals. <sighs> this is very hard for me to say, everybody. But Sora's not going to win. Okay? I don't care. I don't care. I know we love to make jokes about the upset squad. We love to make jokes about ride or die. You gotta, you gotta believe in the guys that never win. And I know it's happened twice. I know Alexis and I know what's her name. Oh, um, I know Alexis won a tournament and I know freaking Katori won a tournament. But Sora cannot beat Shuzo. Okay, Fire Kings are way too strong. You all need to understand this. I, I, I want you guys to not go home brokenhearted, so I need you guys to do this for me. I need you to understand that we already know who won this duel. Please. Please do not get your hopes up, okay? Fire Kings cannot lose De Death Tigers. This is going to be your final bet. Everybody, I still want to see bets, but if you are if you are looking to win the bet... Do not, do not listen to the upset squad, okay? Just go for Shuzo. I'm gonna go ahead and get the last bet started. Let's go. Shuzo, Sora. So, like I said, even though I, d I just don't want you guys to get your head hopes up, okay? Okay? Okay. I'm gonna start the duel. Upset Squad, I love you guys. You guys have made these tournaments so interesting with your support for the characters that aren't very good. But Sho Sora can't beat Shuzo. His tiger, if it pops his opponent's boss monster, will literally get him killed. Alright. Alright, I'm glad we all came to an understanding here.
So, Fire King Avatar Borong is already on the field. That's a lot of face downs, which is kind of scary. We're going to get Fusion Sage on the first turn. That's actually pretty handy. Not amazing, but handy. And we're going to go ahead and summon Tour Guide from the Underworld. Oh, get negated! He's got Forbidden Lance in his deck. She, he can't do anything. He got negated. And two Fire King avatars are right there. Yeah, Borongs are here to win. That's kind of... Oh, cool. We got the freaking Undertale music, as I like to call it. And we're going to get to see an Exceed Summon. A Gem Knight Pearl. That's one of the weird ones. I don't know if I would have chosen that. I mean, I guess Sora can't overpower it, but still, you know, not really what I would choose. Yeah, and Sora is forced to play defensively. Shuzo now has Coach Soldier Wolf Bark. Burnable Animal, no! Oh, I know, I heard it in Tackle 6 before Laser. But it doesn't matter where it's from. It's from Undertale as far as I'm concerned. Alright, and check it out. He's going to summon Furnable Doggy, which doesn't really make a difference. Wait, maybe it does make a difference. Because we already know he had Polymerization in his hand. And with his Scissors and his Hex Sealed. Whoa, I has he ever summoned this one? Wait, guys, this is new. We got ourselves Scissors Bear. I don't know what it does. Fusion Recovery. Okay. And that's it. I, I hope you didn't get your hopes up. I don't know what this is. But what does the bear even do? Oh, he ate the opponent's monster. What the hell? Wait, it does what? It gains a thousand attack. It eats the opponent's monster and gains a thousand attack? Holy shit. If he can eat the Fire King? Wait a minute. Wait a... No, no. He has 2,600 life points. The life points are too low. No one get your hopes up. It's over. I don't care. It's still over. Polymerization doesn't even matter. Alright, what are we making this time? Oh, we made the wolf to attack twice. That's pretty smart. And... Well, we're gonna get a doggy back to the hand. He hasn't even normal summoned yet. Polymerization again? What? The last two cards in his hand? They fuse? He got all of them! He summoned all of them! All of his fusion monsters are on the field! What the hell is going on here? And you fell right into his trap. You gave him Barong. Alright. Holy crap, this is crazy. Nope, it's not over yet. Circle of the Fire Kings. And then that gives him his monster's effect. Yep, there we go. Don't worry about Shuzo. Shuzo's gonna win. Do not worry. It just looks tense, okay? It, he's just making it look good. He's gonna win still. He still has 500 life points to his lane name. Sora is not gonna win. There's no freaking way Sora's going to win. I don't know how he got all three of his fusions. These are the only three fusions in, his, in this game. These are the only three. And there is his boss monster, as we were all waiting for. And there's the card to give him his boss monster. Yes, that's the end. GG. Because it dies at the end of the turn, winning him the duel. I don't know why he's doing all these extra summons. That's game. Okay, I guess he's going to try and do a little damage this turn, maybe. And 10k get... Look at this. You guys were worried that Shuzo was going to lose. Literally, this card dies, and then everybody dies. On the standby phase. And there goes the board. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Sora has no cards left in his hand. There's nothing he can do. It has an effect in the graveyard, Arkito. It's not a it's not a field effect. On standby phase, you'll see. 
And the duel is over. Unless Sora has a card that does 500 burn, but I highly doubt it. All right, Scissor's Effect activates. He got it to the field, which does not matter because Fire King activates GG. No Ukazi means no game. Sora was really close. I will give it to you guys. Sora was really close. I don't know why you guys thought he would win, but I'll give you some credit. He was closer than I thought. And that's the... Uh, he didn't need to do this. That's already the end of the duel. He got all three of his fusions, but literally by destroying his opponent by card effect, he, lo he lost the duel. Shuzo is your winner, everybody. Sora, you did good, though. Sora did really good. I'm actually excited to see him in the tournament now. If he plays like that, I'm excited to see him. <laughs> I know, I'll admit, even I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's getting a little too close for comfort. But the second I saw that uh, Sora did not win the duel, I knew he did, he would not win the duel. He had to win that turn where he had his three fusion monsters. And he just didn't. So, Shuzo fans, there you go. As, we all pre as I predicted, you are the winners. And Upset Squad, just be happy Sora made it here. He's never made top four before. Actually, Sora, this, Sora's the only person here that has never made top four ever before. So here we go. Your Arc 5 representatives will be... We're going to end this tournament. Shuzo. Sora. I know you can't really see Masumi, but she's there. Hold up. Shuzo. Sora. Masumi. And, of course, even Reiji gets to join in in the representative tournament. There you go. Whoo! Close. Close. Very good duels. Yeah, no, I, th I thought the last duel was really fun. That was a super hype finals. That was a super hype finals. So, I'm going to allow some of these characters in redemption. You, All the main characters are going to get redempted. Don't worry. They're all going to get redempted. But tomorrow will be another tournament. Tomorrow, at the same time I started today's tournament, which was two hours ago almost, uh, we're going to be having the page three tournament with all the random characters. So if you like Wisteria, if you like Kami, if you like, um, Ken Yu, the Mushroom Man, then I expect to see you there tomorrow. And if you just want to see random duels, because they all use completely random decks. Like, their decks are completely, are just super weird. So, I will see you all tomorrow for the Page 3 tournament. Uh, if you could make it, I would really appreciate it. I love having a bunch of fans to talk to while we're doing these tournaments. Uh, Nene will be there with her Shadal deck. Yes, Shadal will be there. And then next week, we'll be having a Redemption Tournament. This, uh, tomorrow is a... Tomorrow is page three. And next week will be a Redemption Tournament. And not Redempted. Redemption with I-O-N. So, that's gonna be it. I wanna thank you all for watching. If uh, you enjoyed this series, please remember to uh, like and subscribe on YouTube because this is also being released on YouTube. And if you uh, enjoy me on Twitch, I really would appreciate a follow. That's all. You don't need to subscribe. I understand that costs money and I'm not going to make anyone pay money. But I would appreciate just a follow. Ah, good time. That was a good time. Bye, guys.